How would you like to grow loads of lettuce just like that if I had told you it was basically planning it out and set it and forget it? Who wouldn't want that in their kitchen? Anytime you had a sandwich and you could just go pick a couple leaves off or you want a salad and you go get a little handful of this, it, it's awesome to have this in your kitchen or even in a spare room or, or outside, wherever you want. So this is an awesome grown system. Set it and forget it. So one of these containers and yeah, stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you where you can get your own and drill some holes in there and you can be growing lettuce just like this at your house. Uh, things didn't always look like this it got a little bumpy start and we talked about this in a couple other videos but I want to go ahead and address it again because I got a couple emails or messages and that and, and some people when they first transplanted them out things didn't look right and they panic and they were like uh, what did I do you know did I do something wrong should I start over and all these questions so I want to show you how this lettuce started out and maybe you guys are going through the same thing and this might help some of you out so let's watch this quick video. I'm going to show you how it started out, looked really rough, didn't do anything to it. And then we'll talk about what goes into this and where you can get your own box and, and things like that. So let's go ahead and check out that video. So as you can see when it first started it looked really rough this is the point when a lot of you like just give up and say let's start over and and i don't blame you i've done that several times when i started out like eight ten years ago i did it over and over and finally i just decided you know the, some of the leaves they look like they're dying in that but there's some new growth on there let's just let it be and see how it goes uh, and that's one of the reasons why i grow in a lot of containers and basically like this one here the little two foot one 24 inch I like those because if something happens to one of these I've got a lot of them going at one time 20 to 30 at any one time sometimes 40 or 50 of them during the spring or summer if something goes wrong with a couple of them I don't panic I let that go clean it out replant it 
Um, sometimes if things just start looking like they're going wrong, I just let it be if it's in the very beginning. Now, if the plants mature like this and stuff starts to go wrong, you know, I know that it's time to just harvest and start over. But at the very beginning, when your plants are small, it might just be the shock from being transplanted. You know, it's just like us when we don't like to move, right? You're in a spot, like if the plant looks happy and it's in a spot and you take it and uproot it and you shove it in a new place and you're like, here, you live there. It's not really happy and it has to, to adapt, right? So it's just like us, you know, sometimes we don't like to move, you know, and, and some plants are different. Uh, my basil and kale and pak choy, when they're real tiny microgreens and I just move them, they do just fine and they, they just grow right away. Lettuce is a little different. It's a little trickier. It's a little tender. So besides a lot of different things that can go wrong, sometimes it's just that the plants need to adapt to the new environment. And lettuce is like that sometimes. So my experience, I've done this over and over and over. When I transplant them, if they're about that size, sometimes they look like they're going to die the next day. And I just leave it for about a week. Yeah, if it goes two weeks and it still looks like that, you might want to go ahead and change it out. But if it's got new growth on it like that, and you look inside and you're starting to get some new white roots, go ahead and just let it be, and you might end up with something like this. And the main thing is to just relax, have fun. You know, if this is a one-time project and we said, I want to grow the best looking head of lettuce, you know, you, you try and try and, and, and you're just working on that perfect one, it's one thing to put a lot of effort into it. The idea of this system is that you want this all the time. So you're doing it over and over and over. Uh, we're lucky in Florida, we can grow year round, almost all year round outside. And if not, I'm growing inside. Uh, I know that some of you guys, you have a growing season in that, but you can still grow some of your food inside. Leafy greens, you know, are, that's why I go with this because you can, almost anyone can grow leafy greens inside. Uh, your other root vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, and everything, it's a little trickier, but almost anybody can do this. So if you want a continuous harvest of, of leafy greens, this basil, kale, you know, pot choy and everything, if you want that going all the time, you're gonna be constantly harvesting and, and growing and planting out microgreens and, and going over and over and over. And if you're not into that, if you're not enjoying it and you're stressing out all the time, you're not gonna do it, you're gonna give up. So relax, have fun. If something's not going right, then it just wasn't meant to be start over you're going to get the hang of it this is a really simple system you put the master blend formula like we said in here you can use a little air stone a little bubbler this one lettuce we just use a little air pump like you can get i got this one off of amazon but you can get it from um walmart pet stores uh just anywhere so this is like the cheapest little air pump you can get drill a little quarter inch hole use this quarter inch tubing your little check valve and just plug it in and just let it run basically that's all we did this one I've got the little shield on here because this is a little translucent you can see through it you know the light so I got that on there to protect it from the algae but if you get one that's opaque you don't have to worry about that we had an ID box that I think we're growing green onions in it like right now and we've been using that since I'll show you a little picture we grew Swiss chard and this was like years and years ago and we're still using the same container and haven't worried about algae in it ever so if you get a dark one you don't have to worry about it but unfortunately that one wasn't food grade if you're worried about food grade that's why I used this was because I was selling that on my Etsy shop and people were asking for food grade so I was getting these but unfortunately over the last year prices went up on everything and I had to buy like the bottom and the lid and the price on both of those went up the cost of shipping is going up and I didn't want to keep raising and raising and raising the prices on everyone so I just stopped selling them and I figured that this one was easy whereas you know this we're doing a little bit more work and get things together this was just drilling four holes in the top so I figured almost everyone can do that so if you guys want a container like this I got it from the Webstrant store. It's uh, I'll put the little name right here, www Webstrant, and you just look for. I think this is a meat container. It's food grade container and the matching lid. If you guys can't find that, email me at keepongrowing1.com and uh, gmail.com, and I'll give you the exact link to the product itself, and you guys can find it. 
drill you a couple holes in there. Like I said, if you want an air stone, drill a quarter inch hole in there and put it in. And before you know it, you're going to be growing lettuce just like that. Now, a lot of you have already ordered these and you're growing with it. And some people wanted more of them. And that's why I'm telling you guys where you can go to get it, to grow your own, make your own. Um, but some people said that they don't have time or, or, you know, they have arthritis and it's hard to drill into these containers. These are pretty thick lids. So, um, they asked me to go ahead and make some more. So I'm going to open up my, I'm going to put it back the listing on my uh, Etsy shop and I'm going to do it for one week because if I order just one of these and pay shipping, see, I've got to order it myself and pay shipping to get to me. And then I drill the holes in it, pack it up and ship it out to you. Uh, it's not really cost effective. And I was going like a couple years and not really making any money off of these. It was, you know, not more about making money. It was more about just helping people, like I said. So I don't mind doing that as long as I'm not going broke. So I did that for a few years, but I, it's gotten to where it's not cost effective anymore. But if I order a bunch of them at one time, the shipping is not as much on if I, I order like in bulk, just like anything else, you know, the more you get, the, the cost goes down. So if I order in bulk, I can get the cost to go down a little bit. The shipping is a little cheaper and I can afford to put these together. I'm not going to raise the price. I'm going to put them at the same price they were. I don't care if I make money off of it. I just want to help you guys out. So um, I can't do that forever. It was like the end caps. Lots of you guys took advantage of getting the end caps. I, I had them like four of them for like $9.95. And a lot of you took advantage of that. So uh, anybody that wants these, what I'm going to do is from when this video comes out, I'm going to leave them on the Etsy shop for one week and get all the orders together. Then I'm going to take it off of the Etsy shop and I'm going to do one order and get it in bulk, have it come to me, go ahead and prep them all, ship them out to y'all. Um, we'll do that one time. So if you're seeing this video and it's two weeks, you know, past when I dropped it or, or a month or whatever, then you're not going to see this in there anymore. So this is just a quick video and this is just saying, Hey, go check this out one week. You've got your opportunity. The people who asked me for it, I'm going to try and email you or contact you on Etsy and let you know it's available now. So hopefully everybody that needs it will get the orders in and I get that to you. Uh, I've got a little bit of free time. I've the end caps, I've got more of them in. The first weekend, they sold out. So, kind of blew my mind, but I've shipped a bunch more of them out. And I've got more coming, but I got a little bit of free time this week that I can order these and I can get them out to you. So, I don't mind, I don't mind helping people out, but uh, sooner or later, I got to get back to all the other stuff. So, if you want one of these, make sure you go ahead and order it. And like I said, it's just going to be one week. And if you're handy enough and you can drill you some holes, Webstrat store go ahead and get some of these you can get any kind of container from like uh, Walmart Home Depot uh, Just anything that's about that deep. This is about the perfect depth for lettuce in my opinion If you get too deep the, the root system on lettuce doesn't get too deep You're gonna end up wasting nutrients. This is about the perfect size. It's not too shallow not too deep And if you can get it like that, it can be a little bit wider or a little bit longer but as far as deep you can want to keep about five six seven inches and um you're gonna be fine i like this size right here and the reason why i was selling those this holds two gallons by the time you get some lettuce on there and you've got a couple gallons of nutrients and you're holding it that's you know about all you want to be moving around you know you don't want to try and be lifting five gallons up right and move it you have to get your friends to help you with it and and you all will end up tipping it all over the place so this is like the perfect size for the lettuce. You see it's over here. By the time you get nutrients in, you can take it, pick it up, move it around. So that's why I like that container for growing lettuce. So if you can find something like that, if you don't want to order it from the Webstrat store, like I said, you're going to have to get a lid, a container. You might get a couple of them, but then you're going to have to pay shipping on it too. So uh, you might find something right up at your local home improvement store that looks kind of like that or go into walmart or a home goods store and look in the kitchen section and try to find something and anything that looks about like that the darker you can get it if you can look through it and you can see your hand you want to go ahead and put something on that's going to reflect the light if you can get it darker like the id box that we grew our uh, swiss chard in like years ago we're growing green onions right now that one we've never worried about algae in it if you can get it dark then you don't have to worry about the light getting in but you know pretty simple setup Get your little air pump going in there 
and you're going to have lettuce like this growing year round in your house. You're going to love it. Alrighty, you guys, much love. I want to say thank you to uh, most of all, all my channel members. I really love you guys. You help keep this channel going. You guys are awesome. Uh, I want to thank everybody else who like just help support the channel, whether it's like buying merch or product or uh, even just watching the videos. You guys help doing that. You know, we're trying to spread the word. We're trying to teach the world how to feed itself. And, and that all comes down to you guys. I love you. And get out there, lift, inspire, keep on growing, be the change. We'll catch you next time. Go grow some lettuce. Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-ba Ba-ba-da-ba-ba